work. You're alive. I'm alive. Sorry to worry you, Mom. Elena, long time no see. Leon, what are you doing here with everyone? Oh, so Serge really is Leon. Boy, what a disappointment. Shut up. I hope you're taking care of Lark for me, Serge. You too, Rastin. I will protect him with my life. By the way, Elena, we need to talk. What is it? Lord Mahat passed away. What? So the rumors were true? Prince Vice said so. That can't be. Mom! Are you okay? I... I'm sorry. I'm just a little tired, that's all. Let me rest for a bit. Please, make yourselves at home. Wow, she was really shaken. I wonder why she's so upset. Let's leave her alone, Lark. But... We should get some rest ourselves. Okay, let's get some sleep and be ready for tomorrow. Huh. These kids, literally for an entire day, have just been doing <coughs> the same thing over and over again, just tapping swords repeatedly. Same with this kid, but he doesn't have a partner. Look, then it's not even like deflecting each other; it's just meeting at the tip. What is the point of all of this weaponry in the back? More importantly, who the hell could wield this one, like the one at the top? I really, really want that to be like an equipable weapon for Lark. That'd be so awesome. So, <sighs> Zamuel's will. Mr. Zamuel's martial arts school. It must be so lonely there now. Oh, well, that's understandable. After all, both of its teachers are gone. Alina's looking after the school right now, isn't she? Yeah, it's a bit much for my mom, but to look after. Too bad I'm not there. Did Grandpa Zamuel leave anything to anyone? You mean like a will? Oh uh, yeah, he told me. What did he say? He said he was going to leave his house to Alina. And the martial arts school was to be left to Adele or Alina if she had to gone back to Olkina. It rhymes. Wow, Samuel must really have cared about Alina's wel welfare. Interesting, interesting. Let's go up to the office of the castle. Hitting Z to run. Uh, <laughs> it's what happens when you play a game too much before playing another game. St you start importing controls. Up the staircase into the hallway. Through the hallway to the office. <sighs> Yon. Ah, you're here. Sir, we'd like your response to the letter from yesterday. Before that, have a look at this. What? It's a rock. It's a rock? I can feel a code emanating from it. This is the Meridian Bible. Th this stone? Really? I wouldn't touch it if I were you, unless you want to be cursed like me. Huh? <gasps> The Meridia family is guarded by a pact with Isa. Anyone with Meridian blood is protected from disease and will live until their hearts can no longer beat. Um... So no matter what, they'll die of heart attack? Like, I mean, if you keep yourself healthy, 
you know, that's pretty much immortality, but <laughs> no matter what, you'll die of a friggin' heart attack. Or, you know, lo loss of blood, stab wounds, brain damage. But think of it in terms of old man. So that's their secret. But if that's the case, then what's wrong with your arm? 23 years ago, my mother was poisoned by the queen. To save her, I broke the seal guarding this forbidden stone and tried to form a pact with Isa. It was then that I and my father saw it. The Meridian Bible was being manipulated by someone. Manipulated? But isn't this a rock? A code is sealed within the stone. Originally, this code was simply the Meridia family precept. But 700 years ago, a pandemic struck and much of the Imperial family fell ill. To ensure their survival, the Hierarch of Noirism formed a pact to protect those of royal blood. That pact with Issa was inscribed into this stone, which in turn became what is known as the Meridian Bible. If something was overwritten or changed, that is probably when it happened. What was changed? It seems the part about our empire being formed in order to kill the god Isa has been erased. Kill Isa? Originally, this world had no gods. Humans created the gods, and now the gods rule over them. That's why that passage was written. What are you talking about? People can't just create gods. Or can they? I don't know the truth, but I do know that the possibility exists. So I thought that people should be able to control their own destinies. That's where you come in, Lark. What do you want me to do? Gather the Rogress, and when you reach the domain of the god Isa, I want you to kill him. If you can promise me that, I will agree to a ceasefire with the Republic. Huh. So, what do you think? I can't do it. I don't even know what a god really is. Can a human even kill something like that? How can I make any promises? I see. Very well, then. What? That's it? Please, if you could reconsider. I will honor your request for a ceasefire. Really? The signing of the treaty will be at Batrachides, which will become the new border between our nations. Sir Vice, thank you so much. That is all. You may leave now. Well, I guess we know what the final boss is now. There's no mirrors here. Why is it called Mirror Hall? I was worried there for a bit, but everything worked out. Thanks, Lark. Don't thank me. I didn't really do anything. Why did Sir Vice decide to accept our ceasefire proposal? Maybe he just felt like it. We better tell the director before he changes his mind. Yeah, but you know Sir Vice, he may have agreed to it. But he might be planning to attack the Republic anyway, or kill the Director. We need his trust for this ceasefire. But we need to be cautious as well. What is a god anyway? Rithia? Sorry. But if what Prince Vice said is true, gods are man-made beings that rule over us. But we don't even know if what was written in that Bible is true. By that definition, it's a superego. It's an interesting story, but gods in the church have nothing to do with this ceasefire. Let's get this taken care of before we have another religious debate, okay? Lark's right. No point bringing the gods into this. For now, we need to get to the director in Carbunculus and inform her of what's going on. Okay. All right, so we're going back to Carbunculus. Vice's intentions. Do you think Vice has a bit of a soft spot for Lark? Oh, well, he used to trust him, right? 
Didn't hesitate in throwing him to the wolves when the mission on Okina and Carbunculus, though. Yeah, his attitude changed the instant he found out I was the child of Issa. Well, the one thing's for certain. He's had an emotional attachment to you. That worked to our advantage, no? It led the ce to the ceasefire talks. Still, I'd like to ask him the next time we see him. Be my guess. I really don't care how he feels anyway. Hmm, I still wonder, though. Whoa, people just disappeared in the background. Pretty far into the background. Guess this game is pretty good draw distance for stuff like that. Or whatever that's supposed to mean. Going down and around, apparently, because there's always two elevators in places. So, let's, uh, let's head to Carbunculus, right? Do the Senate, alright. Uh, there's a tailor here, we might as well stop by. Yeah. Whoa! Bad ass. No, there's a cute little bird on her shoulder. Ooh. I'll buy this just in case. Alright, so... Outfits. Legendary hero! Now, doesn't that look awesome? Oh, and he doesn't have his sword in his picture now. Nice. The legendary hero, the princess, the two men in the sweater vests, the one girl in a winter coat, and... She doesn't have an outfit. I guess she could always fulfill the role of that one random stripper. Um, but... <laughs> that was horrible. I'm going to save. Get, get out of there. Go to the lift. To the lift, to the lift. Excuse me. Uh, so, to the light ship. Just a city boy. Even Lark looks like a normal Meridian guy with that on. Normal? Don't ask me what normal means in this case, okay, Rifia? It's just too hard to explain. What's the normal anyway? Everyone's a bit different. Yeah, my normal, Lark's normal, your normal, they're all different. Maybe there's still lots of things that are the same. Lark doesn't look too normal to me right now. Really? Dear God, never put that on again. Yeah, I'm used to seeing you look different. I am suppose he did look good in that other outfit, too. You mean that? Don't remind me. Why not? You look good. Yeah, you were adorable. Well, I'm glad you two are enjoying this, at least. What was the other one? What did he look adorable in? I guess it's just a skit of uh, what happened in the tailor with something we couldn't actually buy. Like he was trying on clothes and it's like, oh, it's adorable. It's like, burn this. Maybe. I'm just, I'm just trying to fill in the gaps. <sighs> Remembrance. Hey, Serge, tell me about some of the contracts the Lord Knights undertook. Why would you want to hear about that old stuff? Well, there's something I've wanted to ask you for a while. I heard you defeated an entire army division. Oh, that... that's true and false. What do you mean? We were just mercenaries. We may have been skilled, but we are no match for an army that big. So we decided that no matter what, we'd, 
just wouldn't lose. Wouldn't lose? It was Rex's plan, he said. If we don't lose, we can tell people we won and make them believe that we've done something great. After all, there's no match for an army division that big. So what'd you do? It was easy. We ran! We only fought small, isolated battles we could win. And then... We engaged... We engaged and fell back repeatedly until we achieved 25 victories at a little cost. Rumor did the rest. That's incredible! Yeah, Lark, your father was pretty amazing, not to mention a all-around great guy. Well, that was interesting. <laughs>